Ah, yes, that is the noise of my shocked sound. And why am I shocked? Because my hands are in front of the camera again. It's been a little while since I've made a, uh, a video. I apologise about that. I've just been waiting on a few things to come down in the post. Uh, also, before I get started, um, I would like to make a small little disclaimer, um, hence gestured by my hands here. Um, I am going to be getting back to doing mods and repair videos and stuff like that, but I have a backlog of consoles and weird things that I uh, am ordering at the now, pretty much, um, that I want to make videos on. Um, some reasons because there aren't actually any videos of them on YouTube and also because I really enjoy talking about them and I enjoy looking at them because they are ridiculous and hilarious and crap and that's why I collect them. Um, so I'm going to quickly jump cut this camera over to my um, display where I have some of this stuff um, because this episode is going to be, as you can probably see by the title, well actually I haven't thought of the title yet but yeah, it's going to be something different to Retro Handheld Extravaganza because uh, this is going to be a specific um, video made on LCD games, although they are going to be kind of, um, <laughs> they're going to be like trying to be ripping off the Game Boy or, or ripping off the Game Boy essentially. So they're not just going to be any old LCD game, it's going to be ones specifically that rip off the um, DMG Game Boy. So without any further ado, let's jump cut. So for those of you who haven't seen my collection before, this is my cabinet. And in this cabinet, I house all of the fake, knockoff, and cheap kind of tat, um, specifically like the ones that rip off the Game Boys and stuff like that. But as you can see on this top shelf, I've accumulated quite a lot of things that look like a Game Boy. So we're going to be having a look at all of them. There's actually two different variants of boxed Game Childs. There's a Game Child Mark II, a Game Kid, two more unboxed Game Kids, which are different games, and then a dinosaur riding a motorbike. So this is the uh, the DMG Game Boy that was released in 1989. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably know what this is. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like this beige color with a black D-pad, some gray start and select buttons, maroon-ish um, A and B buttons. Got a little logo here, gray screen, some indentations up here, a tapered edge for the speaker, this kind of grip on the back, cartridge at the top, power button on the top, and also, sometimes uh, it's copied of these little lines at the top as well. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be kind of our um, medium, if you like. The first thing we're going to be having a look at is the Game Child. Now, we have actually looked at one of these um, before. I'll link that video in the description as well. So we're not going to be going into too much depth, uh, depth with this, sorry. Um, although I would like to talk about one or two things that I didn't talk about in my other video. And also, I now have two different boxed variants, whereas in the video that I did, I did it just on this bad boy. Also... I picked up one from a different company called Maxim, um, which is slightly different, but very little different as well. Very little different. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this purple one aside because we've already had a look at it, and we're going to have a look at this one. So as you can see on the front, I don't have a boxed uh, DMG Game Boy to show you, although what I can tell you, and you'll have to just take my word for it, is the box looks nothing like this at all. Although I absolutely love this box. It's very uh, 90s. It's kind of like a pastel color and everything like that. And uh, this is the box that was in the uh, video by Ashens. Uh, the quest for the game child, Stuart Ashen, who made a video, um, he runs the YouTube channel Ashens. Um, yeah, he made a video, well, he made a movie pretty much on um, with this being the kind of main subject matter. And uh, yeah, this was the box that they had in the video, except I think he had some numbers on here as well. And I think when they actually, in the only clip where they showed the video, of the, in the clip where they showed this, um, where the guy was like, he just bought it in a shop. They were kind of slyly covering up the numbers or holding it, something like that. Um, so yeah, he's got some numbers on his, but this one's in relatively decent condition. A few kind of creases. It's actually really hard to find these in good nick. Um, although it shouldn't be because people should just buy these, play it once, put it back because it's shit. Um, this one's the Space War one as indicated on the back here. This other one that I have is the Desert War one. There we go. Although we're only going to be playing one because it's all the same game. It's just different graphics pretty much. As you can see, it all looks very similar. So let's just get into it without talking any further. This one does have the, the manual. All of them have a manual except for uh, this one. And also this one's just loose. But I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is the original um, packaging that it came in. It came with just this little bag bubble wrap. This one still has the screen protector on it. So that's how you can tell that this was uh, absolutely loved. But as I mentioned before... The kind of theme of this is to copy the color, copy the color of the screen lens, copy the little indentations, and sometimes even copy the blimmin' battery cover. This is not a battery cover, this is a storage for, I think actually a lanyard, although could just be for, uh, for 
well, just use your imagination. Um, at the top here is a fake cartridge, and that's where our battery goes. This battery is probably worth more than the console. Oh, uh, let's put that back on. So yeah, on. A similar theme uh, is the music is abysmal and the game is impossible to play. Oh, never heard that noise before. Can you tell what's going on? Because I can't. I've heard that noise a lot and I think that's the death sound. That's all that we're going to be looking at this in terms of gameplay for this. As you can see, it's very, very similar. And uh, yeah, we've got, the only difference being we've got these big buttons up here, although they are the same color. We've got a maroon colored D-pad, although it's indentated. We've got the taper, we've got the speaker, we've got the grip on the back. We've even got the place where the sticker would go. Not the sticker, sorry, the um, information. No buttons on it. Uh, that is for the lanyard. And uh, yeah, although I've never actually owned one of these which has a lanyard, so I'm yet to get one of those. So this is the other one. For some reason, Maxim is a company that decided to uh, buy and license the game child. God knows why. The only difference being this one has Maxim written on the bottom of it. Um, but yeah, not really a huge difference, although a difference nonetheless. So my collection is slightly justified. I'm not just collecting all of the same stuff. Um, this is a little manual. I read this manual a little bit more in depth in the, uh, the previous video as I said But yeah, the English on this is is not bad, but it's just slightly weird It's like the game child is an interesting handheld LCD game that is very challenging and exciting It's challenging because it's terrible and you can't understand what's actually going on. That is not even a joke That is me being genuinely serious. That is actually just how it works as I said before this is exactly the same just a slightly different box there's also three extra ones, Ice Hockey, Ghost Hunter, and uh, Desert War, which I don't believe are on the back of, uh, of this one. Sorry, no, Desert War was, so what's different? City Fighter is the, the difference. So we've got City Fighter, Ice Hockey, and Ghost Hunter, which are all three that I do not, do not have, I don't think. Uh, no, never mind, I have Ghost Hunter. Um, well, I know what I own. Uh, yeah, but I'd like to get Ice Hockey and um, City Fighter because... They're quite rare. I've actually never seen a City Fighter and an Ice Hockey, so that would be quite cool. So yeah, this is exactly the same as I said before, just a uh, different box. And I have two of these, Ghost Hunter and Desert War. So yeah, pretty cool. That's the one I made the video on either before. This is the, uh, the Game Child Mark II. God knows who licensed this one. I don't know why they bothered making another one, because this one was a fail anyway. They, as you can very clearly see, slightly went away from the... Uh, the previous um, colours, they've definitely has a bit of a visual downgrade, but yeah, we've got the Mark II just written up here, new version written up here, God knows if there was a Mark III, place six in one is a lie, it's just interchangeable in brackets, it's kind of like a small text, but they didn't bother making it very small, so it's just not place six in one. What it means is you can take out these little uh, things and put them back in. On the back, there are six different series one and series two, bloody hell. I never even realised that. I don't really pay much attention to these <laughs> these things until I make videos about them. Soccer, baseball, volleyball, basketball, UFO. That looks like a terrible game. Spaceman. <laughs> so generic. Car racing, motorcycle, and American football. So yeah, let's have a look inside. Foot. Wait, did I see football and American football? Or am I going mental? No, soccer and American football. Okay. So yeah, this is the uh, the Game Child Mark II. As you can see, the box is very similar by design. In ba battery included free of charge. That's very kind of you. I don't have that battery anymore. Um, on the side we have press S1 and S4 together to get melody signal. Press S3 to select level 1 or 2. Press S2 to start the game. We will need that because uh, this thing is bloody impossible to work out. And also that makes me believe that there was no sort of uh, manual for that ever because I don't have a manual in this. Also, you will notice straight away, it's a completely different colour. It's a different picture on the front, and it says Card Game Mark II, not Game Child Mark II. So whether or not this is actually the original one that came in this box, I will never know. Um, but yeah, interestingly enough, these are actual cartridges, I guess you can say. Uh, they've got a little LCD screen on them, and they pop in there. We've still got our kind of tapered edge here in our speaker. We've gone away from the D-pad, because who needed a D-pad? We've still got like a little line up here which they're kind of, kind of trying to copy a little bit uh, on the back. It just loses all shape of DMG that you've ever seen before in your life. 
just takes one little button cell battery. We've got a ginormous like raised piece here for the speaker. You've got all your lovely screw holes and some little bumps here as well. Just keep it raised when you put it down because you're bored of it. On the front, we've got two plastic buttons, as I said before, two big um, mashy buttons. And how you actually use this, I will never be able to tell you. And that sounds all right, doesn't it? Like, what is going on? I'm not, like, I try not to, I try to be slightly honest without obviously adding a bit of comedic value, but this genuinely, I'm um, not adding comedic value. Oh, I think I scored. What, the points are going up? Maybe it's just a game of mashing. Okay, that sounds bad. I think I'm actually getting points. I've never, never done this well before. Okay, and I think that's the uh, the game over with. So yeah, it's just a little cartridge thing. It has like these little contacts here, which make contact on here or something like that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Not terrible uh, in terms of looking like a DMG. Makes no sense to me whatsoever, and the box looks a lot better than the console. So yeah, that's pretty much that there. Um, I did mention when I posted this in the uh, Game Boy Collector's Facebook page, which if you are not in, I recommend you join, that I had no idea how that even worked, and I still have no idea, and hopefully you will now understand why. Moving on, we have a thing called the Game Kid. Now, this, I think, was actually made by the same people who made the Game Child. The reason why I tell you this is because I have a box on here which is uh, very yellow, although I'm not entirely sure if it's the plastic screen on the front that's yellow or if it's the Game Boy underneath, Game Boy underneath. Um, I have not opened this yet since I ordered it. I received it in the post today. So yeah, this is the box. As you can see, we've got Game Kid, Game Kid, Game Kid, and Game Kid. On the back is a lot of different games we have. Soccer, basketball, volleyball, ice hockey, car racing, motorcycle, invader, highway, painter, and smart baby. What? I'm going to make it my duty to find that. Rescue and bumpy and catty and basketball. Well, they kind of just like trip off on LSD whilst making these bottom three. Bloody, bloody hell, what? Painter and smart baby. I need to find those three. That is going to be my absolute aim. Oh, what is this text down here? Not English. That's what that is. Um, yeah, I mean, let's have a quick look inside it. I think there's actually a manual in there as well. And thank God it is just the plastic that's yellow as hell. This is actually all right underneath. Instruction manual. Here we go. Right. Melody alarm games. Alarmingly terrible, I think, is what you'll find. This feels like some sort of parchment paper that you'd find in Cairo in the 10 hundreds. Um, I mean, that is just like, what is that? Is that like some sort of spacecraft building manual or something? What is all of that? My God. I'm just going to put that away and pretend that I didn't get that. There's a little star down there, though. That means... Uh, Whoever, whatever five-year-old child made this got a star out of it, and that's the main thing. Um, so yeah, right, this is the uh, the motorcycle game. Um, oh dear, I did not see that in the eBay listing. Um, they even robbed the battery, so that looks disgraceful. I didn't even I didn't even see that in the eBay listing, so that's fantastic. It probably doesn't work, and we're not going to put a battery in it and try. Uh, yeah, oh, there goes the battery cover. Fantastic! I love eBay. Um, right, let's put that back. So yeah, they've got this uh, QGH78 on the front here, and they've also got it on here. Weirdly enough, this is actually a sticker which says QGH, and this is not. So maybe they changed the box or something like that. But yeah, this is the uh, the games. They just kind of like pop in like the other ones, and then they turn on. Motorcycle is an alright game once you get to work how to work, work out how to use it. And also one time it actually sung Fury Lees to me, so and if you take the screen off it still plays. Um, let's have a quick comparison then to the Game Boy, so much smaller. I kinda like the uh, the size of it, it's actually quite quite dinky after holding this for a very long time. We've still got our grey screen. As I mentioned before, the screen pops out, so the actual screen is the the, the 
cartridge. Uh, we've got our buttons on the front, we're sticking to the maroon colour. Uh, we've got our tapered edge, our speaker. Um, on the side we've got that line, on the top we've got the line, and on the back nothing is uh, very similar at all. So yeah, not bad little uh, kind of copy, I think it looks alright. Uh, let's try and work out how to actually play it then. The screen's a bit on the dusty side. Um, I did get it to play once and it was actually relatively, relatively, uh, well I don't want to say good. How do we... See I'm not sure if we're playing. Um, I'm going to give the contacts a quick wipe, excuse me. Setting, we don't want the setting. ACL. Um, right, we're going to try soccer now and see if soccer is any more understandable. See, this is the thing that makes no sense to me. I don't, I genuinely don't know how these work and how to actually work them. Someone's also coloured that in with pen because they were bored of how shit this was. That's how bad these were. They got so bored that it was more entertaining colouring the back in with a pen. Like, my god. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the last, but certainly not least. This is actually probably the only console that I own out of these LCD ones that is playable, in quotation marks. As you can see, it's gone quite yellow over the years. Battery's going at the bottom. Nothing on the back that looks remotely like a, uh, a Game Boy. So yeah, we'll whack that in there. Slides in, nice and nice smooth fit there we've got going on. So yeah, again, we've got the tapered edge, the fake speaker, the speaker's actually up here, which is just ridiculous. Uh, this is QGH37A. So I don't know if these were actually made by the uh, same company because they've got QGH378 here and QGH37A. So I don't know what's going on there, but as you can see, it's slightly uh, bigger a little bit fatter as well, but yeah, as I said, we've got the buttons here being slightly the same colour. D-pad is red, select and, well, I say select and start, got on off, sound and ACL. I don't know what ACL means, that seems to be on all of these uh, weird fake handhelds. Got it over here as well, and on the uh, the Game Kids, right there. Um, but yeah, the screen is just this artwork of a giant dinosaur, which is quite similar to the, um, I reach over and grab it, the tiger handheld. You see they've kind of got this artwork going on, which is a, a bit of a theme with these, because these this artwork's genuine, gen generally a lot better than the actual game that you uh, are playing. But yeah, as I said, this one's slightly more um, understandable. The screen's just very yellow. Um, so yeah, let's let's start. And then we have a giant dinosaur riding a motorcycle. Which is actually, I think, the plot to uh, the next Walking with Dinosaurs film. Very nice noise there, you know, the kind of thing you want blaring in your ears. And especially the kind of thing you want your parents to, your parents are going to be wanting to listen to when you're in the back of a car. I think we just caught it by a hit by a meteorite. Oh, that's actually what this must be. Um, what? I dodged the meteorite and it made me it made a noise. The police are after me. Shit! Turn it off. Right. Um. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's that then. So yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much going to uh, conclude the video. Um. I guess one thing that's really similar throughout all of these things is Game Kids, Game Child. Uh, yeah, they, they kind of go for this theme, you know, as I showed in one of my previous videos, we've got the gay mate. Uh, one more thing that I actually picked up as well quite recently, another LCD Game Boy type. Um, as you can see, it's still sealed in its package, which is annoying because I want to make a video on it. Uh, well, I can't bring myself to opening it, so I'm going to buy another one. This is only like 15 quid anyway, but yeah, another Game Boy style LCD game 
similar size. We've even got that grip going down the back, the D-pad, the red buttons, and then they put in this artwork as in similar to this on the front. Um, and yeah, these games are amazing looking. If we just flip round the back, look, they're actually like hand-drawn artworks, but I'm not gonna spoil all of it because I would like to make another video on this. I just wanted to point out the generic game player. <laughs> <laughs> Portable cartridge game. I love these things so much. It's just the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> it's just so, so stupid that it's amazing. Anyway, that is pretty much going to conclude this video. I realised I talked quite quickly. Um, I just wanted to get through all of it in one retro handheld extravaganza video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I just love these things. They just make me laugh every time I look at them. There's just like, I mean, just look at that. It's just beautiful. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, I will be getting back into the repairs and um, mod videos. I just wanted to clear the backlog of consoles that I have collected and make videos on them. And as I said before, I love talking about them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think they're amazing. Uh, give me your opinion. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.